Hey guys, how's it going? Go see Rich here today, and today we're gonna to be switching out a headlight switch on a GTI that should work for golfs and all sorts of things like that. We're gonna be putting in a European one because I have European taillights and uh, I've already coated them, but the problem is I need to, of course, switch out the switch. So to do this, you're just gonna press it all the way in like so, put it in like this, and pull out your switch. Now, we just have to push this pin in like this, if you take a look, and then you're just gonna pull the plug out and then the old one's out. So just give me a sec. If you're looking at your switch, you're gonna see this plastic cover that's on here that's sealing here. What you have to do, I'll show you with the other side. See how you have this plastic cover? There's a little notch right here and you have to pull, push in a flat blade screwdriver to get it off. 99 out of 100% of the times, the little plastic piece breaks off, which is fine. You can still click it back in afterwards, but we need this open, so that way we can take our yellow wire light so, and we're gonna put it on the only open hole. See right there between the black and the purple? Black's not easy to see. There's only one open slot, and you're gonna need, of course, the yellow cable, which you purchase with your uh, Eurofog light switch, and then we're just going to be sinking this into there now. So give me a sec. Switch part's done. As you see, I just clipped it back on. You don't have to, but it all depends if you're one of those people who want it to still look unbroken, I guess. So once you get it in, um, how you know is it'll go in, 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 and then it'll click, and then after that, you can put this little cover back on if you want to. At this point, it's now done. Now we're gonna feed this wire back into here because we have to put this wire in the body control module. Um, show you that in a sec. First thing we have to do is, of course, take this panel off, which as you can see, I'm just doing it with my finger right now. Just use a plastic panel pop or whatever you want and or put a flat blade in this little thing here and pop this off this way. So as you can see from here I just fed it from there to over here you can see my P3's modules all right here but just right through here weaved around here I'll tuck that in with a screwdriver and then fed it down from there and pulled it out through the bottom that easy. Now we'll go under here and get the far left connector which is you'll see a gray one, a gray one, and a black one. Undo the black one and that's the one we want to unhook. Again it is, let's see if I can show you. See right there? That one right there. See how it's, that one's white? That one's black. We want the black one out. So just unlever it. So you'll just grab it and pull down then pull it right out like this. And now we'll take apart this in one second. So I'm just going to slide this off so I can show you. On each side of there, you'll see two little, see this one and that one? You're just going to lift them with a flat blade screwdriver. You can either do two or one at a time. Lift the one side, pull down a little bit, rotate clip, put a flat blade there, lift it a little bit, slide it off. Sheets off, wiring is exposed. From this point, I need to see which wire we will be putting it in, so give me one sec here. Alright guys, so a quick thing for you. If you take a look right there where I've got that pin, like I told you, between the black purple and the purple wire right there, that is actually the parking light wire. And then if I look at this side, you can see that it's between the brown and the red. That is going to be the fog light wire. As you can see, I'm going to have to, I, all I did is I did it on both sides the same way, put that little switch in. Or, or put the little connector in, as I already showed you. I'm gonna snake this one down, because one's gonna have to go into one side of the connector, one's gonna have to go into the other side, so that way we can get parking light and rear fog light. I mean, you might as well have it all wired up. And there is a second hole. I didn't think I seen one, but. All right, cool. Give me one sec here, and I'll show you that all in. But again, between the purple, black, and oh yeah, make sure you mark one of the wires, like I've done with black tape, so that way, when you fish it through, you're not like, oh man, which was which? All right, so for the parking light one, after you split this, you can see right here, that's where it goes between the purple and the black yellow, and that is slot number 19. Now we're gonna put this connector back together, which is really simple, slide the two halves back together, and then click the casing back on over top. And then we can resync that on and test our parking lights. And then after that, we're gonna have to pull up the brown connector, which is right here. We're gonna un, you know, hook that, take it out of the way, so that way we can uh, do the exact same thing, split it, and then we're gonna have to do some other fun stuff. So give me one sec. Alright guys, so one of the parts that got 
deleted from the video was on that black connector where I put the yellow wire into pin 19 you need to take the yellow wire with the black tape and put that into pin 17. Alright guys so if you take a look I've done the exact same thing with this brown connector just to save us some time here if you look there's going to be a white blue wire and then there's going to be a blue with a green stripe that is in pin 47 we're going to remove that using a sewing needle I'm going to take a second and I'm going to pull it out and then I'm going to show you how I did it so that way you can see all right so it's going to be hard to see here but as you can see you pop it in if you have two sewing needles you can do this I'm using an actual probe that's meant for it some people do it with two needles like I said and I just popped out the blue yellow um, or sorry the blue green wire blah so as you can see see how there's two how they're offset holes and how I've got it in there just trying to make it so you can see so all you do is you push it in there and then slide this out so as you guys can see here I've already taped up this wire next thing we're gonna be doing is pulling out one more wire um, in the black one here as you can see there's pin 28 pin 28 is a gray white wire gray white first one see these are two yellow ones that are plugged in just take the gray white one out of here and put it into pin 47 right here where we pulled out the uh, wire which you just taped up so you're gonna pull it out of there and put it into here and uh, make sure you of course push the tape back so you get some more length out of that wire so we're gonna plug it into pin 47 so that way it powers them these clips all back together and push them back in make sure you don't get them tangled up in this light harness again if this um, OB2 reader sensor gets in your way you can always undo that bolt and but just pop it out of the way if you want to make it easier on yourself I didn't bother I didn't really need to but I'm just gonna slide these clips back together and again just slide them back together I told put them apart they only go back together one way this is what the new switch is going to look like, for me anyway, if you're going to be wiring an auto one, I don't have. I'm not doing the auto function, I believe there's just a plug on the back, an extra plug, so you put it up here, or you put your little auto thing right here, depending on the one you buy. Uh, one thing that uh, my buddies here at the shop are telling me is to make sure I tell you guys not to buy the cheap Chinese ones, make sure you go to a shop and make sure they're coming from Mexico or something like that, because if they do come from China, a lot of them can short out the body control module and that's not a good thing so I'm just gonna plug this in test it out and I'll show you guys All right, so as you can see right now I'm on parking lights meaning that what should be lighting up which you won't see with mine because they're painted black but you'd have your marker light which you can sort of see it coming through but yeah your marker lights will be on and your rear lights are on if you pull this out over here and you pop it once at this point, as you can see, no red, but if we come up front, we have fog, right? Then we pull the switch out to second stage, and we got Euro fog. Perfect, right? After that, we sink it in, and um, we go right here, and then now my headlights will come on. What I have it set up as, and you can also do this, this is all through VAGCOM, is this. So, see, instead of my headlights being on during regular daylight modes, just my fogs are, and not my Euro fog, just my fog light, and as you can see, no tail lights. Now, if you bought Euro tail lights, uh, where it has the red fog, you are going to have to code them, you can get this from the Voltec forum there online or just look up tail light coating I can't give you one and the reason why is there's like 13 14 maybe a hundred I don't know like different ones and you have to kind of try it out the one I used was world world uh, GTI one so that one worked perfectly so if you see the one that says world or international that's the one that we used and I've got the fog light, so it's perfect. Either way, I hope this install helped you out. Like the video if it didn't, subscribe for more. If you're, Like I said, if you're looking for how I installed these, then I have a video up on it. So be sure to check it out. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day.